Hi, this is Brandon. Today we're going to take a look at exporting a model from Maya into Substance Painter. All right, now the first thing we need to do is we need to assign our model a new material. Maya has a default material, and we need to go ahead and change this. So select your entire object, hold down, right click, and if you already have a material, you can assign existing. We're going to assign a new material. Now this box should appear. Now, this is a stylized piece. I'm not going to use any lighting information, so I'm just going to choose a Lambert. If I did want to include some kind of lighting information, a Fong or Fong E would also work. Now, all of these are history nodes that we will also get rid of here in a moment. All right, so we've got Lambert 2. Let's go ahead and rename this. Now, it's typical is M underscore and the name of your object are going to assign different materials on the blade, handle, etc. I would then do underscore blade, underscore hilt, whatever else it might be. In this case, I'm just going to use one material, so M underscore dagger is appropriate, and hit enter. Okay, after the material's been changed, this is just white. This is basically telling me I don't have any textures assigned to this particular dagger. Now, when I do come back in and I want to add my textures to this material, underneath the material in my attribute editor, under color, this little checkerboard box, I'm going to click on File. And then I will select this folder and navigate to wherever my texture would be. Click on that, hit Accept, and my texture will show up. After we've assigned a new material, go to the Channel Box Editor, and I've organized this a little bit so I have the blade, hilt, and handle in a folder. Now this folder has some transformation information on it. I scaled this up. I do not want this to transfer out of Maya. I want to delete this and clear this out. So with the folder and everything in the folder selected, I'm going to go to Modify, Freeze Transformations, and that will nuke any transform information that I've acquired throughout my modeling process. So I'm going to go to Edit, Delete All by Type, History, and that will nuke all that information out as well. Now with just the folder selected, not anything underneath it. I'm going to go to File, Export Selection, and I'm going to name my model. When I'm exporting out specifically for Substance Painter, I'll put the name of the object, underscore substance. This way, in case I have any other exports for another purpose, I know which is which and what goes where. Also, under here, most of these options should be fine, but just to check, I like to take a look sometimes I don't want to export anything out that I don't need. So default file extensions is fine, but I do not want any history expressions. Include texture info, yes. Geometry, now if I have any smoothing groups, that is nice to have, so I'm going to leave that. Smooth mesh, we can leave that. And this referenced assets content. This is going to export any references that I've got here with this. You can uncheck that as well. Animation, I do not want any animation information. Scrolling down, I don't need any of this. I do not want cameras lights, audio, embedded media, children with the connections. I do want to include children because I plan to only export out the, the folder itself and that will export everything underneath it. So this is important, include children. Advanced options, automatic's fine. Y is default, that's fine. That's fine. FBX format. Now, if you're going into an older version of some software, sometimes it's nice to have an older version of the FBX specifically and everything else should be good. I can choose to export two different file types, an FBX or an OBJ. I'm going to select FBX, but in case I wanted to, OBJ is here as well. If I do that, I'm going to want to go through and recheck my settings, but FBX will be fine for what, I, what I'm doing. I tend to prefer FBX for most exports. Export selection, and now I've exported my model and I'm ready for substance. Now, if I had previously set my project, which I have another video for, and I'll link that in the description about how to set a project and why it's beneficial, but if I've set my project, it will automatically export my file into my scenes folder. So I can grab this and upload this to Substance. Now what I also like to do for good housekeeping is to create a new folder for my Substance Painter project. And I like to name this Dagger Substance. Again, I like to put Substance at the end so I know what program I'm looking for. Sometimes I'll have a Maya file next to this and a few other things as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add my FBX exported file I like to copy it here so I can keep the original in the Maya folder. And now we're ready to jump into Substance Painter. Well, that's about the bare bones of it. We'll see you next time.